Welcome to DOS Geek. This, my friends, is the Lenovo Flex 14 Idea Pad. Not just the Lenovo Flex, but the Idea Pad, the 2019 edition. And let me tell you, it is something of beauty. Now, the Ask Noah show, he loves his Lenovo X1 Carbons. Wait till he gets a hold of this. He's going to flip his wig. Now, this comes in a variation that also includes AMD. So this one is an AMD Ryzen 5 3500U. Yeah. You get a 14 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 250 nit IPS glossy multi-touch screen. So I love all of that except the glossy part, but we'll get over it. You know, you can't have everything. It's only 3.65 pounds, meaning you could throw this in your laptop bag, run around an airport, do some laps, not even know it's in there 512 gigabyte ssd it comes in at 12.9 inches by 9 inches by 0 0.7 inches so it's pretty thin for a laptop it also has two times usb 3.1 two and one of them is always on usb c card reader hdmi and an audio jack take that apple it actually has ports Every 60 minutes gives you about 80% of your charge and it has about a 10 hour battery life. Well, they claim that, but realistically more like six to eight hours. And you might be asking yourself, but can it Linux? And the answer is, yeah, it is right now. This is Endeavor OS on this baby and it's gorgeous using the Cinnamon desktop. It has a 65 watt adapter that comes with it, a quick start guide that nobody reads that junk anyways, and a four cell lithium ion 45 watt battery. But that's not all folks, there's so much more. I know what you wanted, you wanted a close up and you wanna see it go to laptop mode in Linux from the tablet mode. And bam baby, there it is, it works. Well, you got to do a little bit of tweak, but I have all that on my website, dosgeekcommunity.com to show you how to get auto rotate to work. And is that a backlit keyboard? Why? Yes, it is. And we also have the beautiful multi-touch screen working out of the box as well. But I know what you're going to ask for. You're going to be like, but the keyboard, is it any good? And the answer, yes, it's awesome. I love typing on this thing. It has a fantastic travel that's backlit, by the way. Did I mention backlit? I love backlit. You have to have backlit on a keyboard and a laptop these days. Also, the trackpad is huge. It is very nice to utilize, very precise. The only problem is, you know, it's not glass, it's plastic. And you can see a little give in the clickiness there, kind of gives and pulls away from the frame. Kind of gives it a cheapy look. Although when you're using it, it doesn't feel cheap, doesn't feel like it's going to break but you can kind of see how it gives in there and it just, you know, it doesn't fit all the other items that are so high quality on this machine, like the keyboard. I love typing on this machine. It's an absolute dream. The trackpad functions very well again, but the whole machine does have a lot of plastic. I assume they did that for weight. The fingerprint reader, unfortunately, does not work in Linux. The particular fingerprint reader they chose has no module that I could see to get it working in Linux. You do get Dolby Audio though, and the audio on this laptop is fantastic. It's very crisp, very clear. The only thing, as with most laptops, the volume's not there, but they also didn't have the speakers firing down into your lap, which is a definite bonus, and I'll show you that when we take a look around the laptop itself. All the function keys, by the way, work out of the box in Linux. And that's amazing. But wait, there's more. They even thought about your privacy. There is a shutter button on the top here so you can shut off the access to the webcam so people can't see you if you don't want them, even if they turn on your cam. And this is a little hidden feature that if you don't read that quick start guide like I didn't, you won't even know it's there for a few weeks like I didn't. But it's an awesome feature. I love that they have that built in there means I don't have to go buy it separately, a cover for the webcam. By the way, the hinges on this, I know you're looking at them. I know you think they're gorgeous and they are, and they're super sturdy too. The bezel's a little thicker than I like, especially after using the Dell XPS with the Infinity, but it's passable. How about I throw in an extra bonus here? I'm starting to feel like an infomercial. Yes, it comes with a stylus that plugs right into a USB port. And yes, this works on Linux out of the box, at least. Endeavor OS with the Cinnamon desktop. So if you are somebody who draws or takes notes, 
this is the laptop for you because it works beautiful. Now, being I'm no artist, I'm going to open up Krita here and show you what I can do with this pen. And you're gonna be amazed that I haven't taken art classes before when you see this beautiful stuff. So let's go ahead and open up Krita. And you can see as I kind of move, I'm not touching the screen here. It's moving with my cursor, which is amazing. And I'm searching desperately for where Krita is. There it is, open. It's kind of hard to reach over a camera and tap a screen. So keep that in mind when you're looking at my beautiful art pieces here. The stylus seems to be extremely sensitive and work very well, including pressure sensitivity on this screen. So you can see, well, right now you can't see anything because I haven't picked a color yet. Uh, let me go pick a color, Krita. Yeah, let me, yeah, orange. That would be beautiful. So there. You can see if I do really light, it comes in really light. If I start doing harder, then you see the pressure sensitivity kicking in there. So you could put this in tablet mode, which would be preferable for drawing and draw to your heart's delight. Now I will be selling this painting here for about $500,000 on eBay. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments below. I mean, someone stapled like a banana or something to a wall and made millions off of it. So I figure art like this on the spot, it's got to be worth something. I mean, this is even more effort than stapling a banana to a wall. That really did happen. But the stylus works really well. It also has an eraser feature built in. If you push the one of the buttons as an eraser, one of the buttons uh, basically grabs the screen for you so you can move it around like that. And the other one, as you can see, uh, is secondary as your eraser. So if you're into drawing, handwriting notes for school, another fantastic feature of this laptop. But there has to be a downside with every laptop. And one of my things is I like the alloy, metal alloy feel on like Dell XPS line or even MacBook Pros. This is plastic. It feels like plastic. It captures fingerprints like plastic, although not nearly as bad as the X1 Carbon. Even on the bottom here, it's kind of a metallic plastic but it's still a nice quality plastic and it doesn't feel like it's going to break really easily. You can see we have ventilation on the back. We have ventilation, additional ventilation on the bottom of the laptop. Here is your power button, your card reader, and your two USB ports as well. And on the other side, if we flip it over, we have our USB-C, we have our HDMI, we have our freedom jack, otherwise known as a headphone jack, and our power connector on here. Laptop is very thin. You got nice rubberized feet. You know, they still paid attention to the quality even though it's plastic. Look at those speakers. See how they're not firing directly down? They're at an angle where the laptop angles up. That's where they put the speaker. So if you have this on your lap, you're still gonna get decent sound and you do out of this. Those Dolby Atmos speakers sound very good for a laptop. Just keep that in mind. And nice, simple Lenovo branding on the corner. It looks very classy, very nice. Now you can't open this with one hand. I know a lot of people that's important. The hinge is very tight on this, so you're gonna have to use two hands with this to open the hinge. And there it is, me obsessively cleaning it every five seconds, because that's what you do when you touch your laptop screen. Now you're probably thinking, I'm sold, I want one. How do I get screen rotation and things to work out of the box? It's simple, head to dosgeekcommunity.com, Go to the brain dump section. You'll see there Lenovo Flex 14 setup. Click on that. Uh, click, click on that twice, three times. And then you're going to see the instructions that I have here for installing AMD microcode, doing your power management, install the AMD GPU Vulcan drivers, uh, do the screen rotation, set up your on-screen keyboard. The things that don't work yet, Hibernate is buggy, so I usually just have it lock screen when I close. In Linux, that is. Fingerprint reader doesn't currently work. Um, what does work? Bluetooth, function keys, screen rotating, touch screen, all ports, touchpad, keyboard, stylus. So all of the most critical features work. Of course, your webcam as well, and you've got that nice privacy shutter button. So all of those things are perfectly passable to have the privacy and security of Linux while using this beautiful laptop. So as you can see, you can move this laptop completely into tablet mode as well. You don't have to keep it in that A-frame that I have. You got the really strong hinges. It's pretty thin. It's obviously not as great as a detachable tablet, 
can be, but all of the detachable tablet slash computers I know hybrids are just kind of junky. They either cheap out on some of the more important features that this one hits on. So overall, I just absolutely love this Lenovo Flex 14 IdeaPad 2019. I highly recommend it. One of my favorite laptops out there. You can get one for between five and $600. If you hunt on eBay, you can get that closer to the 500 or even less in some cases like I did if you find the right seller, brand new. So again, go out. Take a look at this if you're in the market for a laptop because I think Lenovo hit one out of the park. It's an absolute home run. Check out destinationlinux.network. That's where DOS Geek Channel is a part of to see other shows and other great content and check out the Destination Linux podcast that I'm a part of. Thank you so much for watching this channel. We're over 10,000 subscribers now thanks to you. So consider hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.